Hi everyone and welcome. I thought today I'd just do a little uh, desoldering, stroke soldering on an SMD resistor. Now this resistor is very small. To give you some idea, I've got a penny here. As you can see, it's an English penny. And let's find a plenty stick. Right, the resistor I'm actually going to be changing is this one here and to give you some idea of the size difference here's the resistor I'm changing here's a penny resistor side of the penny As you see even the side of the penny is bigger than the length of this as for So yeah, phenomenally small. Uh, these resistors, I mean, these have got codes on them, and uh, a lot of you are probably thinking, "What the hell are these codes?" But I mean, the general rule. This one's different. I mean, I still got used to having the bees in it. But this here, you can probably see, it's two seven two. So it's uh, the first two are the digits, so it's 27 and then the last one is how many zeros, so it's 2700 so this is a 2k7 resistor uh, same as this one's four seven three zeros so was that 470 or 47 so yes, yeah, that's a 47 so I'm probably getting the tweezers in the way that's a 47k resistor The same for all these. These are what these numbers mean. Right, hopefully my iron's hot. Uh, as I said, I've got to do this under the microscope because without the microscope, I can't even see the damn component. I'll tell you, I can see the damn component. I just can't see the uh, where I've got to put a soldering iron. And uh, sorry for the shaking and that. But you got to remember, everything is amplified here. We're talking about a component that's a one millimetre long. I think it's 1.2 actually. And it's about 0.8 wide. Now I'm just heating either end. It's just not rushing it. As you see, I've got good thermal bonding with uh, the solder that I put on just a minute ago uh, problem is because they are so small they cool down very quickly tweezers would probably be useful and probably better oh, no, there she went Right, it's just gone. Let's get that off of my soldering iron. Right. I will try and de-wick some of this. And so my soldering iron wick is bigger than the area that I'm doing. Considerably. Okay, that's a bit better. So, <coughs> right, component removed, pads cleaned. Here's my new component, which I think I'm changing this for. I think it was a. I can't remember where it was now. We'll find out in a minute. When I can let go. This is a third. 3K3, this one. I'm going to. Tack it one end. It may what they call tombstone and uh, sit up, but I'm not too worried. But <coughs> and I'm gonna get my tweezers and heat it. I'm lucky it hasn't tombstoned at all. That's good. And we'll 
attack the Everend. Oh well. No one happy about that junction. See if we can wick it a bit. The flux, the myth flux was isoprocanol based. <laughs> ah, I just got to leave that to evaporate. It shouldn't take too long. I'm trying to rush it. Oh, there's no need for you to watch it, but yep, that's the job done. That's how you change one of these surface mount uh, resistors. It's no no bigger than as you saw a mill square, really. Uh, Got to be done under a microscope. Very fine. Uh, I'm using a fine. Uh, can I see it? As you can see, chisel pointed soldering tip. Okay, many thanks for watching. I hope it was useful.